And we're back. This is Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker of Antelope Valley Florist. I'm Aaron Goldstein from Goldstein Digital. Our next guest is Jennifer McDonald from Expert Tutoring. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, how are you? Wonderful. Didn't Aaron do a great job as co-host? Yes, definitely. And how about Gil as board operator? Yes. He's the best. <laughs> we like him. We're keeping him. <laughs> well, thank you for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me. You know, and I just thought, it, expert tutoring, you're always, you're always working. Yes, definitely. Time is money, so thank you for taking some time to come over, and thank you very much for uh, choosing to join the Lancaster Chamber. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's, a, it's been a really good experience so far. We had a nice grand opening over at your studios. Yes. Your studios are over at the Marketplace in Lancaster? Yes, that's oh, our Lancaster. Newest. But you also have a... Palmdale. That's yeah, right. Right. We have a Palmdale location. Uh, it's on Palmdale Boulevard and 5th Street West. That's our was our first location. And we just recently opened our second location in the Lancaster Marketplace. So it's very exciting. And the reason for having two locations is so the students don't have to travel so far? Right. Um, more students. Yeah, more students. And there's... We found in the past six, almost seven years that we've been doing this, it's a really great need for tutoring services and there's not a lot of us in the Antelope Valley and uh, there's a lot of our students that were driving from pretty far away to get to our one and only Palmdale location so we figured you know we needed to kind of expand our footprint a little more and so we decided to open up in Lancaster. Wow yeah. and you know it's nice to have a storefront versus uh, teaching out of your home working out of your home. That's where we started. Gotcha. We started out of our house. And yeah. that was Victoria's idea? Yeah, my wonderful mother-in-law. I'm sure not many uh, daughter-in-laws necessarily think their mother-in-laws are wonderful, but I consider her one of my best friends. I'm very blessed. Um, she is a retired teacher, uh -huh. and she had to take an early retirement because her husband was very ill. And she still knew, though, that there was such a great need uh, for uh, tutoring children, keeping them, you know, at grade level, if not above grade level. And so she thought, well, what can I do now that I have to be at home taking care of my husband? She thought, well, I can provide very affordable tutoring for the, you know, people in our neighborhoods because the class sizes just keep getting bigger and bigger. And there's only one teacher and they can only do so much. Our teachers are fabulous. We love our teachers, but it's only one human being in front of 35 to 40 yeah. kids. And there's so many kids that fall through the cracks. And my mother-in-law knew that she could prevent kids from falling behind. So she started tutoring out of our house. And uh, meanwhile, I was going to Antelope Valley College, uh, getting my degree in education and tutoring at the college. I'm a certificated tutor. And my husband was going back to school for business. So after a year, uh, she had to move out of state to help take care of her parents. So she gave the business to my husband and myself and said, take it and run. Do what you want with it. And boy, did we ever. <laughs> so that was originally so, in Palmdale. Yes, yeah, in our house in Palmdale that we still live at. We, we live right across the street from Highland High School. So we would have kids just walking across the street from Highland High School and because we tutor grades 1 through 12 in all subjects. So we can tutor anything and everything. And this is a supplement to their regular education. Oh, most definitely, yeah. It's a, strictly an after-school program during the school year. Uh, we help them with their homework. We help them understand their classwork if they didn't quite understand what they learned in school. Um, and, you know, we also, you know, definitely help with skills as well. Uh, if they're having trouble with reading comprehension or memorizing their math facts or this dreaded common core that's now come about. Um, dreaded common core. <laughs> <laughs> we all love yeah. Common Core, don't we? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's a, not algebra, is it? No, okay, no. It's a math program that started. It's it's also known as Engage New York, um, or California calls it Eureka Math because uh, they didn't like the, the fact that New York was in the name, so they renamed it. And uh, but it's just a new way of teaching math, and even first and second grade parents are having struggle teaching their kids, you know, that and helping them with their homework and so, but we understand it, we tutor Common Core so we can help, you know, the Common Core way and also the good old fashioned way as well. It's nice to so, know the two methods. Oh, most definitely, yes. You have to understand it first as well. Yeah. And so you don't take adults for tutoring? Well, to be honest, we have tutored quite a few college students and I we have tutored some adults, it just depends on the subject. Um, our 
you know, complete specialties, grades one through 12, you know, homework help, skill building, test preparation, but I have tutored some adults that had to take some specific math courses, um, you know, for their nursing degree, or also, you know, I've helped quite a few adults who are going back to school who had to get their GED. We've helped them pass their GED. It's our test. It is, yeah, yeah. And then we also tutor, you know, uh, ASVAB, so students that want to go into the military, they have to pass the ASVAB test. Uh, we help, you know, have helped with that as well. Your ratio is usually, uh, I saw just two seats yes, per, sir. per instructor. Yeah. Two yeah. to one, one two to, to one. one. Two to one or one on one, just depending. Um, we have tried a little bit more than that, but we found that it's just not really, it's not conducive for the tutor to get enough you know, individual time with yeah. more than two at a time. It's going to be counterproductive. Most definitely, then, yeah. Then they go back to like, don't touch him and stop doing that. And <laughs> yes. Twiddling your fingers. And yes. Yeah. Yes. You have to pay attention when the teacher's looking at you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And they're all they're in their own little, little bubble there. So, it's, it works. You must have some success stories. Yes. Uh, quite a few over the past uh, six years. Um, my. My favorite compliment that a parent has ever given me is when they walk in and they say, you know, not only is my child getting much better grades now, uh, the kids run in with their A's on their tests, but they tell me that their kids now have self-confidence. That's something that is so paramount to a child learning to love learning and wanting to do well in school and, and continuing to read throughout the summer and um, just keep progressing. But so them having self-confidence is, is really key. And, you know, so parents that tell me that, that's, I get goosebumps every time. Yeah, because so. you don't advertise we sell self-confidence. No, but it's we, just, no, but it, it's a wonderful byproduct of kids all of a sudden, the light bulbs are coming on and they're getting it. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's great. It's really wonderful. That's the, the guest before you was talking about literacy. Oh, wonderful! What a difference! What a difference it makes in a in a society in a yes. person's life. Well, there's so much reading in math nowadays, and you know, just to function as a human being, you know, you have to know how to read. It's very important. And so, what do the parents say to you? What sorts of testimonials do you get from the parents? Um, they have said. Uh, I remember this one student. He came in with his spelling test. He had never gotten a B, let alone an A, and he wow. ran in this one time and he had a hundred percent on his spelling test. And it was just our, my tutor, he ran in and hugged me and then he went to his tutor and hugged her and then she started crying and oh my gosh, it was great. And the mom was just, you know, she was overjoyed and she said, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for just helping him believe that he can do it. So that's, that was, that was the best. That was great. When you listen to children's uh, happy times from school, it's usually a teacher that believed in them or a teacher that took a little extra time and that made all the difference. Yes, yes, definitely. And you're doing that all the time. We, yeah, we, we try, we try. I've gotten a few, um, this year, actually a few high school students that have gotten into their uh, college and university of choice Wow. And the parents have, you know, attributed us, which I'm sure we cannot take all the credit. The student has to do the work as well. You know, we are just there to help them, but they have to do the work. But they've gotten into their, you know, college of choice, and the, the parents are just very, very pleased with their successes. Yeah, a little star on the wall or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Where do you find your tutors? Um, mostly we find them either at, from AVC, a lot of our high school tutors, um, or the, my tutors that tutor our high school students, rather, uh, they actually are current college students themselves because I find that they make the best tutors of our high school kids because they're doing the same work themselves just, just at a, at a, a couple, higher level. Yeah, a couple years ago they were doing it. Exactly, yeah. or they're doing it right now. They have to go home themselves and do homework and study and take a test so they can relate. It's a really, it's a, it's not quite a peer relationship. It's one yeah. level above that, yeah. but, but they really, they get along really well with them. And then my elementary school stu students, uh, the tutors I found for them, mostly the, the best ones I found have, uh, they work at the school as well. They're uh, student aides. Um, so they're actually they're very involved in the education process or they are have already graduated 
and um, are looking for you know a career in education or they're substitute teachers currently. So that uh, for the high school students, not such a large uh, gap in, in age. Exactly, and it's, it's it's worked out really well. What are some of the specialties at uh, expert tutoring? Well, our one niche that I can say that we have is that we help with their homework and their classwork. So what the student is doing in class that day, we help them understand it and make sure that they know not only how to do what they're supposed to do, but why they're doing it that way. So when it comes test day, they remember how to do it. Because if you know why you're doing something in a certain way, yeah. it helps you remember how. So our homework help is our biggest specialty, and um, also our, uh, our skill building programs, helping them really memorize their math facts and improve their reading fluency and reading comprehension. Those would be our main specialties. Erin, any questions? <laughs> do you do electives? Um, we have four bilingual tutors, so we do uh, tutor Spanish, and in the summer, we have a summer program, um, and we also tutor um, American Sign Language during the summer. Yeah. Jennifer, contact information. Yes. Um, our uh, website is experttutoringav.com, and our uh, main branch in Palmdale, the phone number there is 266-3334. We've been talking with Jennifer McDonald, expert tutoring, new member of the Lancaster Commerce Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And we just had a ribbon cutting out there a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. in the Lancaster Marketplace at this new location, second location. Yes. Additional location. Really appreciate you investing in the Lancaster Chamber. Thank and if you. you stick around, we'll do a, another session. Another section. Great. Sounds good. Thank you. Be Thank right you. back. And we're back. This is Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker of Antelope Valley Florist. I'm Aaron Goldstein from Goldstein Digital. We're back with Jennifer McDonald from Expert Tutoring. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for sticking around. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. This is fun. Let's talk a little bit about the Antelope Valley. Okay. And I started with how much fun the Antelope Valley is. It, yes, it has its moments. Now, were you born here? I was not born here. Really? No. I was born in Newport Beach, California. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's a very beautiful place. <laughs> uh, he has a condo down there. <laughs> ah. he, wishes, he wishes he did. Yeah. And a boat in the harbor. Nice. Yeah, Orange County, that's crazy. Yes, yes. So you're in the Antelope Valley? Yes, I am. What happened? <laughs> well, um, Oh, because you have a story. I have a story. Okay. Tell I us have your story. a story. Yeah. So I was doing a part-time marketing job uh, to earn a little extra money uh, for my condo I was living in in Huntington Beach, which is not cheap. So I had a part-time job and um, my marketing job got uh, sent me to a place called AV Nissan. I'd never heard of the Antelope Valley. I'd never heard of Palmdale. You didn't even know what AV meant. I didn't know what AV meant. Oh, I'd never boy. even heard of the 14 freeway. I knew, they're like, well, do you know where Magic Mountain is? I said, well, yeah, I've been there. Well, right before Magic Mountain, there's a little freeway, and you go, you know, a few miles, like 30 miles northeast, and there's a little city up there called Palmdale. So um, I went out to Palmdale, AV Nissan. I sat at AV Nissan and did their uh, tent sale, and in walked this very handsome gentleman that was a manager there. Was his name Shannon? His name was Shannon. All right. Dang. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah. His name was Shannon, and we went to dinner that night. Man. And uh, 13 years later, we're married. With, uh, I have two awesome stepsons and three beautiful kids with him. And uh, so, yeah, he uh, drug me practically kicking and screaming to the Palmdale area. But uh, I've actually fallen in love with it and with the people, and we have a beautiful home, and a flourishing business and we're still crazy about each other so wow. it all worked out for and me. Huntington Beach is still there it's still there we can yeah. still go visit and go anytime. to the ocean anytime I want so anytime. yeah it's we're good. centrally located <laughs> yes so that yes. was a great way to find the Antelope Valley yeah definitely that's definitely. a great story yeah thank you yeah he couldn't I couldn't convince him to move to Huntington because that's one of the things I fell in love with him was how much he loved his boys and when we met his boys were only three and six and his boys were very well ensconced in Palmdale. Yeah. So I decided to go ahead and move out this way and give it a shot. 
Well, if you're going to be, out. you're going to be here in the desert. You get, just got to learn to love it. Yes, exactly. The poppy fields are beautiful. The poppy fields, <laughs> man, that was quite a season. Yeah, it's like up here we talk about the clouds and the weather and the yes. poppies and uh, the wind. <laughs> the wind. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. That's one thing. I'm. I cannot stand the wind. Uh, yeah. I hate the wind. See, there's there's something. There's the ocean. There's the mountains. There's a desert. There's a thing going on. There's like chemistry. Yes. Yes. And yes. it just happens. Yeah. But we have uh, we have lilacs in yes. April, mm -hmm. and right now we've got uh, apricots out in the yard. Mm -hmm. Great fruit. You know, you have to wait for the freeze to go away. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty cool place. No, it is. And yeah, a lot of neat people. Out. Yes, I love the people. Probably more rocket scientists in the Antelope Valley than anywhere else in the world. Definitely, definitely. Between Plant 42 and Edwards. Have you been up to Mojave, the Air and Spaceport? Uh, I believe so, and I actually worked on Edwards Air Force Base for a little bit. So, yeah, I've been out there. It's really neat out there. It My is. dad was a pilot, so I love uh, I love aerospace. I love the airplanes. It's uh, premier building and mm -hmm. testing facilities in the world. Yes. And um, miles and miles, lots of square miles of space to go practice. Yes. Put things up. Yeah. See if they can stay up. Yep. The sonic booms scared the crud out of me for a little while <laughs> before I knew what they were. <laughs> They're trying to make them go away. They're trying to make them sound like something else. It's, uh, there's some weird noises. Yeah, they want it to sound like lightning or something like that. Oh, goodness. So it won't be quite so offensive. <laughs> they get a lot of calls, you know. Hey, there's a sonic boom. Yeah, gee. When, when the uh, shuttle was landing, you'd hear a double boom. Mm. Usually about six in the morning. Boom, boom. Hey, they landed. They landed 51 times at Edwards. Wow. There's a lot that goes on here. Yeah, it's cool definitely. Place. So in your position at Expert Tutoring, you're probably seeing all kinds of people who are connected to aerospace. And oh, most definitely, yeah. We have a lot of students whose parents work at you know Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman. So, yeah, very Always connected. Cool yeah. stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Big projects. And mm -hmm. Yeah. At our, uh, at our kids' fair we did a couple years ago at our Palmdale location, we actually had Captain Bob Redmond come out and do a presentation. He was really, really neat. If you're ever looking for an aerospace expert, you know, uh, Bob Redmond is awesome. He, he did a really great job. Jennifer can hook you up. Yes, yes. Or Speakers Bureau. <laughs> hey, do, you have, do you have a Speakers Bureau for expert tutoring? No, I don't. Wow. You might, I don't know. Can I ask what a Speakers Bureau is? Oh, what is, is a Speakers Bureau? <laughs> this is a group of people that can speak is. on subjects. And so oh. they'll contact you and say, I need somebody on aerospace or somebody that's, you know, worked at a world-class uh, radio organization as a board operator. Oh, there we go. That uh, just needs to, like, branch out a little bit and <laughs> tell the world what he's learned in his, his few short years. <laughs> but there's some interesting people here, and I think as a business owner, you know, it puts you in a position to meet those people. Mm -hmm. True. Very true. What sorts of, uh, what are, everybody's into fundraising. Mm -hmm. Of course, me as a florist and you as a tutor, I mean, we got to raise funds for our own enterprises, but when you do uh, things for the community, what are some of your favorite uh, venues and some of your favorite uh, causes? Well, um, we actually are a nonprofit organization as well. Um, so we use a little bit of fundraising, you know, for our own company. But when I like to support other local causes, uh, Grace Resources is always the first one that comes to mind. Um, I attend, uh, personally, I attend Highlands uh, Church. In, uh, so that's Pastor Ken. Yep, Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken's great. And he's an old hippie, you know. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, he's an old hippie. Yeah, he's great. Um, and uh, also, um, a friend of mine uh, who works for the LAPD, he does a lot with uh, human trafficking. So Cherished is another very organization that's close to my heart. Yeah, there was a... Somebody that would come to the Quartzville Chambers that had cards about Cherish. I believe so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's not an easy so, call. No, 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 not at all. But one we need to get taken care of. Yes. Right now. Yes, most definitely. People need to know. They don't mm -hmm. want to know. It's like. I know. It's hard. Yeah. So, what are the fun things that the, the family does in the Antelope Valley? Well, my kids. Besides the fair. Sorry. Yeah, besides the fair. Um, well, Thunder on the Lot's coming up. Yeah. We look forward to that every year. We will, we're we actually going to have a booth there this year, so that's exciting. You'll be Very exciting. the whole time. Yes, that'll be great, though. I'm excited. Um, 
and uh, we love to go to the parks. We drive out to Apollo Park and we always hit up the musical road the, on the way out there. That's a really neat thing if you've never been on it. Uh, it's, it's really it's, uh, interesting how they made the road sing. Yeah. And yeah, that park is they, really great. They need to do that on the freeway going to Vegas. Wouldn't that be, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Like some Liberace stuff. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. Beethoven. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that would be great. At 120 miles an hour, that this, I think it's the right speed you're supposed to play it at. <laughs> I wouldn't try it. No. On the musical road, it's only 55. 55. So, yeah. yeah. Then you can hear the correct tune. There are still ducks out there, right? There are still ducks. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, my kids are terrified of them. Really? So they don't like to know because they get chased by the ducks. And now you're not supposed to give them bread. Right. Gee. Now they tell me. I, know. I, I just load those, you know, get a couple loaves at the surplus store and go out there and let the kids feed the ducks. Yeah. Now you can't do that. I know. And they're, yeah, because they're, they're kind of snapping. They can, definitely can be very snappy. Yeah, but there's yeah. water and trees. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then when the weather turns and it rains, we love, you know, we actually like to go to the mall and look around. And um, the, the, oh, the one place that I found that I, Every time someone, one of my family members comes out to visit me, I take him to Charlie Brown's. Out the Little, little Rock. Yeah, out in Little Rock. Oh my gosh, they make the best shakes. They do. And they have the greatest, yes. They have like 150 different flavors of shakes. And candy. Yes. Oh, they have the... Crazy you shopping. You should go Christmas, Christmas present shopping there because they have the greatest little novelty items like for... I don't know how many square feet it is, but it's huge. It's really it, neat. It's like an old house that they just kept adding on to. Yeah. It's so neat, though. It is neat. It's a one-of-a-kind really yes. tourist uh, attraction. Yeah, definitely. And across the street is Penny Lane. She sells so. wind wind toys. Oh, and yes. She yes. has consignment mm -hmm. areas so people with crafts can bring mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. If they don't have it, you don't want it. <laughs> it but, you know, in, uh, in a Little Rock. I know. In the Antelope Valley. Yeah. All those tourists see. driving right by. And there are a lot of places, not a lot of places, but there are a lot of different sorts of places in the Antelope Valley that people just need to get out a little bit mm -hmm. and explore. I, I was told, is, is there a, a feline reserve? There is. I haven't in been Rosemary. to that yet, though. Yes, yeah. I, I want to go to that. I haven't been to that. Exotic feline breeding compound. I love lions. I would love to go see They have that. summer feeding times. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> don't you let the kids back. out of the car. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring them bread either. Yeah. Don't bring them a loaf of bread. They take the bologna out of that sandwich. But that's it. They, they have about uh, 80 cats out there of different sizes. Uh, in Roseman, California. Oh my gosh. The cats neat. love it. They, they prosper there and the people take good care of them and give them a home and give them love and all that stuff. Yeah. See, yeah. and all I had in Newport Beach was an ocean. Eh, big yeah, one. Yeah. Motion, motion. And about 15 million neighbors. Yeah, that's very true. No <laughs> traffic out here. That's another thing I love. Yeah, you still see people at a party at night. They go, look, stars. I go, yeah, we see that every night. That's true. <laughs> it's the Antelope Valley, you know, and yes. that's why we started something called AV Nice, oh, okay. which is nice conversation, positive conversation about the place we live. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer, thank you. you're Amy Nice. Oh my gosh, I'll tell Shannon you. I have one for him also. Oh great, thank you, he'll love that. Give us the contact information for Expert Tutoring. All right, our website is experttutoringav.com and our uh, main Palmdale branch phone number is 661-266-3334. Thank, thank you, you Jennifer. Thank you. Aaron and I will be right back with current events.